The old mind will try to fight. And the old man fights through experiences what you already have as the knowledge of sin, the sin knowledge, the sin experience that you already have within your members. Notice when the Bible always speaks of the old man of sin, he ties his acts to the members. Now, the members of your body, your hand, your eyes, your ears, your genitals, your private parts, that's if you've gone very far in sin, they all have a memory within them. Because they've been servants of iniquity already. Now, it is that memory that the flesh will try to resurrect every time. So as to eradicate this newness of mind that you already have. And you see, it is only by the spirit you can modify the deeds, the memory that are in your members, the deeds of the flesh. Now, the question is, how does a man use the spirit to modify the flesh? First of all, you must stay connected to receive the word of God because only the begotten mind can receive the words of the father. The father doesn't speak to the unbegotten mind. This is why the gospel is good news because if you are not a part of the father's family, you should not be able to receive his word in the first place. But what the gospel does for you is that through the sacrifice of Jesus, grace is now extended. And what grace does is that what was kept for only sons is now brought out into the open so that everyone who believes in that which is brought out can be pulled into that kingdom through the gospel of repentance and faith in Yeshua. That's what grace does. Grace allows the truth of God come to a sinful world. Meanwhile, these things are supposed to be exclusive only to those who are been in Elohim. The secrets of God, as the Bible says, are for those that fear him. They are supposed to be for those that fear him. But by the grace of God, through the sacrifice of our Lord Yeshua, the salvation word of God, not the revelatory word of God, the salvation word of God is in the world. Now, when a man embraces the salvation word of God, he now comes into the revelation of God by the Spirit. And that revelation can only be given to the begotten mind. If you don't have that begotten mind, your lot is to only hear things in parables. Yeshua told his disciples that to you it is given to know. The mysteries of the kingdom is not for sinners. You don't teach them that one. If you like, teach it to them, they will never understand it because it has been destined for the carnal mind never to be able to come into the understanding of spiritual things. However, the grace of God causes the salvation word of God to come even to the worst of sinners. They're able to receive the salvation word of God. Now, when the spirit of God dwells in you and the word of God begins to come to your begotten mind, Remember the words of our master. The man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. The man is talking about, is not the carnal man. The carnal man does not live by the word of the, does not live by the word of God. So when he say man, don't generalize it. There's a type of man he's speaking of. There's a type of man that lives by bread alone. And there's a type of man that does not live by bread alone. His body is sustained by bread, but his life is sustained by the word of God. Body sustained by bread. Life sustained by the word of God. Your life is not in your body. Your life is in God. But the carnal man's life is in the body. So his life is sustained by bread alone. But for us, it's our body that is sustained by bread, but our life is sustained by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. See, so the problem is that when your weakness comes, you do not revert to the word of God. You try to combat your weakness with your mind. And your mind will always win because it has a trump card and that trump card is experiences. There's a knowledge of sin. There's a knowledge already operating in your members. If you used to fornicate, you know, when we were in the world, we were used to all kinds of fornication, your body already has that knowledge. Your body will keep on desiring it. Because what your body wants to do is to pull you down from that high place. You see, the, the, for when you fall from here to your belly, you've been pulled down already to your consciousness, to your appetite. The goal is to rise above your belly and begin to live from here. You see. 
So now, what happens is that the experiences you've had in this world, your ego, whatever experiences you've had in this world, you've built a life in this world, your respect, your value system, everything comes from this world. If you do not detach from what you already have going on for you in this world and begin to depend on the one the Ruach HaKodesh brings to you because now you are a Benin Elohim, your mind is begotten of the Father. If you do not detach, every time you face life's challenges, it is your belly that will respond. Your appetite. It is you that will respond. All together. So, this revelation word guides you into light. And with that spiritual light, you are able to rule the mind. Because from Christ's perspective and from, from God's perspective, your mind is who you are. And when a thing is taken care of in the mind, the body will have nothing to respond to. 